Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to look at um, making a slide whistle this time. Uh, so the, sh the slide here that goes up this whistle will control the pitch of the whistle. Um, so I'm going to use this diagram to kind of inform me. And I've also, just to make this a bit quicker for myself, I've actually made one already in Fusion. Um, and I've got a whistle here and a slide that goes through the whistle there. So I'm going to show you the, through the process of making this. So I might refer back to this uh, to give me some guidance as I go, but you'll notice when I do that. So I'm going to start a new document here, create a sketch on the bottom, and on that sketch I'm going to put a circle, and the circle diameter I chose was 15 mil. Uh, I just had that printing and it looked a bit small, so I actually might make it 20 mil uh, for this. So I've got 20 mil circle, and a sketch, and I'm going to extrude that up to 90. Cool. Okay, so if I go, I'm just going to have a quick look at what I did in a second to make that cut. So I'm going to make this part of my whistle here. So to do that, I'm just going to do create a sketch on my side here. And you haven't used this tool yet, but it's a spline tool. And it's kind of like if you've been using Illustrator with me in the past, it's kind of like Illustrator pen tool. So we'll go to from about there to here, Let's make sure we're out of there, and then if I move it I get this bend, but I don't want the bend yet, I want to just hover over that circle and I'm going to press enter. Now once I press enter I can actually do this bend afterwards and I can match the bend however I like. Now I need to enclose this shape so I'm going to get my line tool, and this part doesn't really matter. make it so an enclosed shape like this. So I can finish sketch on that and extrude this out. I'm going to go symmetrical, so when I extrude it cuts out both sides. And click OK on that. Cool, so I've got my basic whistle shape here, nice and easy. Um, I'm also going to need my, my exit hole. I'll do my exit hole afterwards actually. I'm going to shell this one out, so I'm going to grab my shell tool, I've done this before, click there, make my wall thickness say 1.5 millimeters. yep, just click 1.5, click OK there, and it's shelled, and now I don't have a hole in this end, nice and easy, I can just click extrude, but I'm going to go to the inside of mine, to that shape there, and I'm going to extrude this out. Now I've got the hole I'm leading to. Now, my next step is to create my sketch on this wall and I'm gonna put my slot in there. So, easy triangle shape. I'm gonna start it maybe there. Go in, out, and across. Finish sketch on that. So it's only this bit that intersects, it's gonna be um, what I'm focused on. And I can extrude that out, but I'm also gonna make that symmetric cut. So looking at that, <laughs> uh, immediately I realized I've done my triangle upside down, so that's a problem, but I've also done it quite deep, so I'm going to shallow that out. But easy to fix, I can just go double click on that, and I will make my triangle of it actually the right way, for starters. Bit of a dummy move, and let's have a look at that, how that looks. Looks a bit better. Let's, um, Let's test it and we'll see how it goes. Okay, my whistle's looking a little bit short, but I think that's fine. That's my one here is a little bit longer. Let's just roll with it um, for now. That's cool. Now, we're going to make the slide as the next part, so we're actually going to make a separate piece here. I'm going to do a sketch. I'm going to do it from the top here. So I'm going to click on the very top of my whistle. You can see it highlights there. And I'm going to do a circle. If I match the circle here, I've got a circle that will perfectly fit in there. But when I 3D print that, it's going to be real, real tight and push in. So I'm going to press the D button and click on my circle I've just drawn. And it shows me that it's 17 millimeters. I might... 17 millimeters. That's fine. I might check that down to 16.5, something like that. 
and just press enter. So now there's a little gap between my two circles that when I when I use my whistle and I can slide it up, up and down really easily. Don't know how it's going to work, we'll just have to print to find out and then you can make your changes from there. So I'll finish that sketch and I'm going to extrude. Uh, I'm going to extrude two sides here. I'm going to take one down into the whistle. So about that there, or maybe to about that depth there. So it's probably lined up around here. And the other one outside the whistle a little bit up here. Cool. We have a whistle body and a slide. Now we need to make the slide a little bit more usable. Um, what you'll notice on here is I've put some, some uh, grooves in here to hold it with your fingers. And I've put this rail in here and what this rail does is it slides up and down this part here and it just keeps our slide nice and straight and in the right position. Might not be necessary um, but I just thought it might be a cool idea. You can, you can do that or you can exclude it, it's totally up to you. So to get the rail first, I'm going to go back to my drawing where I drew the circles. If I click on that, it highlights. I'm going to double click on that drawing and I'm going to get another circle tool, come to the edge of my circle here draw another circle and click finish sketch. Now it's all disappeared, but if I go to my extrude and double click on that, I can add these bits to my circle and click OK. And you can see now that extrusion includes this. Now, if I go to my bodies up here and get rid of my outside one, which is this one here, I'll notice that there's no groove in here and there's gonna need to be or else it's not gonna fit in there. So to do that, I'm going to go combine. My target body is what I'm going to cut, which is this one. Tool body is what I'm going to cut with, which is this one. And I want to click keep tools or else my, my insert is going to go missing. So I'll click OK on that. And now, if I get rid of my bottom one, I can see I've got a groove in there. So that will slide in there and fit perfectly. OK, so some, quite, some small last steps here, some finger grooves the end of um, this base part. So to do that I'm gonna maybe create a new sketch. I'm gonna put it on this wall here because I'm gonna draw them up here. Now there'll be a new trick here I'm gonna show you which is really handy. I'm only gonna draw one side of the circle. So let's say that one there. And then I'm gonna get my line tool and I'm gonna draw a line here. Center got my line here and our circle here. Now I'm going to use this mirror tool here, click on the mirror, I'm going to click my object and my mirror line is this and it comes up perfectly on the other side. Now this tool is real, real useful if you're doing quite complex things because you only have to, ever have to design half of your thing. If it's symmetrical it'll pop on the other side too. So we'll click OK on that and we've got two circles here. I can finish that sketch and you probably guessed it now we're going to extrude these two, and maybe let's go symmetrical again, both sides, and it's on cut mode, but perfect. We've got these little finger grooves. Now, it looks pretty good. Um, the only thing I'm going to add quickly is some fillets, because sometimes they look nice. So I might fillet that edge and that edge. And it looks like I can go in one millimeter, that's fine. Click OK, and I might fill it these bits as well. I did that with my other one. Fill it them. Yep. And it's just going to give me a slightly nicer looking end piece. Um, I don't know, you might think it's ugly, but it, it's a little bit different. Uh, so you can add fillets anywhere you want. I wouldn't do it on that edge because we want a sharp edge um, to, for the wind to come through. Uh, but we could do maybe a fillet there. No, Fusion's making it like that. Where did I go? No, it doesn't seem to like that, so I'll cancel that. But I might do a fillet on this edge to make that bit look nicer. Hmm. It's, it's affecting this here, so I may not do that, but I might put, like, say, a one millimeter fillet on there. And then that's rounded this edge off, but hasn't affected this too much. Cool, so what you've done is you've made a slide whistle, 
and you've got two bodies to front last time. This body and this body. There's two bodies. So you'd save them separately and print them separately. Um, and we can test out how it goes.